With just over a week left for the official launch of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the leaks and rumors have all been heating up. What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is everything you need to know about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So initially, some of you guys may already know that this year for the first time, we're gonna be having at least two different variants of the Samsung Galaxy Note. There is gonna be the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 as well as the Note 10 Plus. Now the Plus version may come in just a 5G variant or it may also come in a 4G as well as a 5G variant. Now for the design, we are gonna be seeing Samsung's traditional metal and glass sandwich. So metal frame with curved Gorilla Glass six panels on the front and back with IP68 water and dust resistance. However, the Note 10 does have some key differences in design compared to something like the Samsung Galaxy S10. Firstly, the edges are a lot more squared off compared to the round edges of the S10. This is to give it more of a notebook kind of a look. Also, the camera arrangement at the back is gonna be quite different to what we've got on the Note 9 and the S10, where we have a horizontal camera placement in the middle. On the Note 10s, we are gonna be having a vertical camera placement, and that's gonna be towards the left-hand side on the back. Moving on to the displays, the Note 10 is gonna have a 6.3 inch display. The Note 10 Plus is gonna have a very large 6.8 inch display. Some rumors have said around 6.75 inch, which would be rounded off to 6.8 inches. But regardless, we're gonna have a very large display on the Note 10 Plus. However, the device size shouldn't be too big because we have very, very small bezels on both devices. Now these displays are gonna be dynamic AMOLED displays with Quad HD Plus resolution, so they are gonna be some of the best displays on the market. However, serial leaker Evan Blass has confirmed that the Note 10 is gonna have a 60 hertz display. So that's the regular Note 10. However, he hasn't said anything clearly about the Note 10 Plus. So there's still a chance that the Note 10 Plus might have a 90 hertz display like we've got on the OnePlus 7 Pro. This is still a bit of a question mark, but uh, it would be nice definitely to see a higher refresh rate, especially on the more premium model. Now we're not gonna have a mechanical pop-up or anything like that. There is a punch out, the Infinity O design from Samsung. Now this punch out is actually in the middle, not on the right hand side like we've got on the S10s. And there seems to be just a single punch out, not a double punch out like we've got on the S10 Plus. Now this front facing camera is gonna be 10 megapixels and it is gonna be capable of recording up to 4K in video. Now, as far as we're aware, the hardware is gonna be pretty much the same as what we've got on the S10. And the same goes for the hardware for the rear facing cameras. We are gonna have a base of three cameras. So we've got a primary camera, 12 megapixels with a variable aperture, a secondary telephoto camera, 12 megapixels as well with two times optical zoom, we're not gonna be seeing five times optical zoom like we've got on some of the competition out there this year anyway. And a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 123 degree angle of view. Now the ultra wide camera on my S10 would probably be my favorite right now from the competition. And that's because it's very, very good and very, very consistent. So that's gonna be nice to see also on the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So hardware wise, very, very similar, but we should see some improvements in terms of software. The Note 10 Plus is also gonna have a fourth rear facing camera. This is gonna be a 3D time of flight sensor, which is gonna help with depth information. So this should improve your portraits from your rear facing camera and potentially also allow portrait mode from video from the rear facing camera too. Now this is gonna be exclusive to the Note 10 Plus. We're not gonna be seeing this on the regular Note 10. Now internally, the good news is that all of the leaks and rumors are now suggesting that we're gonna be having the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset or the Exynos 9825. Now which one of these you get will depend on your region, but you are gonna be getting improved performance and efficiency compared to what we've got on the S10. Usually we have the same chipset as we have on the Galaxy S series, and that leads a lot of people to say that, hey, you're simply getting a Galaxy S device with an S Pen, but this year having that improvement in chipsets is definitely positive to see. We're gonna have a base of eight gigabytes of RAM going up to 12 gigabytes, and we're gonna have a base of 256 gigabytes of UFS 
3.0 storage. Now the key thing here is that the storage is going to be UFS 3.0 which is much faster compared to the previous generation so you should be getting some nice improvements in terms of speed. Uh, this is what's on the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, which uh, in my opinion is the fastest device out there right now that's commercially available. And there is of course going to be more storage options. Some rumors are saying that we should also be getting up to one terabyte of storage. Now for storage expansion the latest rumor by Evan Blass who is a very reputable leaker it seems like we will be getting a micro SD card slot at least on the Note 10 Plus. This isn't clear if it's going to be on the regular Note 10 as well. It's something that I wasn't expecting considering that we do have UFS 3.0 storage but uh, according to Evan Blass we should be getting a micro SD card slot at least on the Note 10 Plus. Now for the batteries the Note 10 is going to come with a 3600 mAh battery the Note 10 Plus is going to come with a 4300 mAh battery. Now what's really positive is that both of these will have 45 watt fast charging. So this is going to give you some seriously fast top ups. However, rumors are currently suggesting that the charger that comes out of the box will be 25 watts, which is still going to be very, very fast, but not as fast as 45 watts. Also, 20 watt wireless charging is going to be there at least on the Note 10 Plus. So that's very very fast wireless charging as well as well as 15 watt power share so power share is where you can use your device to charge another device wirelessly it's currently here on the samsung galaxy s10 we've also seen it on the huawei devices but 15 watt power share is going to mean that you can get very fast charging speeds wirelessly from your phone to another device that is going to be absolutely awesome. From that good news, uh, there is some bad news for a lot of people, I'm sure. And that is that we are not going to be having a 3.5 mm jack on the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus. Uh, this is something that we've seen Samsung hold on to for a long time, even though lots of other manufacturers have completely ditched it. But the Note 10 does seem to be a new chapter for Samsung. And uh, it seems like they have taken out the 3.5 mm jack to give them more space for a slightly larger battery. Now, personally, this isn't a huge deal for me because I have now gotten very used to using completely wireless earphones, but I'm sure it is gonna be an issue for some of you guys out there. Now, there is gonna be an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner like we've got on the S10s. And from all of the leaks and rumors, it looks like we may no longer have a Bixby button. Uh, if that is the case, then I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be happy about that, but uh, there might be another way that they're gonna to find to bring Bixby into our lives. And of course, because these are Note devices, they are gonna be coming with an S Pen. Now the S Pen is gonna have some improved features, in particular, air gestures. Now these are gonna be called Air Actions. Exactly how they work, we're not too sure, but it seems like you're gonna be able to do things like scroll through just by hovering the pen over your screen instead of actually having to touch it down. Now finally, pricing and availability. It does seem like the regular Note 10 is gonna start at around $1,000 and that's what the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus started at with the Note 10 Plus starting at around $1,100 to $1,200 because of its additional features. The event is in just over a week's time in New York, 7th of August. I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be doing lots of coverage when I am there. If you wanna see all of that coverage first, then make sure you have subscribed and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any further coverage. I am also gonna be live tweeting as well as posting lots of stuff on Instagram, so make sure you are following me on there too. I am at SuperSaf. And in terms of when you'll be able to get your hands on the new Note devices, you can actually register right now. I'll drop a link in the description below to get a first updates for when the Note 10s will be available for pre-order and that's going to be straight after unpack so on the day of unpack 7th of August with delivery coming in at around 23rd of August so it's coming very very close I'm definitely very excited what about you guys are you excited about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus definitely drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did then do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any further coverage. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. And I'll see you next time.